Russia. So, Matt, uh, I don't know if you're a Republican. I know you're a serious uh, journalist. I know these two ladies here are, are Republicans. But let's talk a little bit about going from the type of speech the president delivered last night to uh, what is expected to be a very different kind of speech before the American Legion. Right. It seems like now he's oscillating between give, giving prepared remarks uh, on camera, reading from a teleprompter, where he sometimes ad-libs, and that could get him in trouble, to then giving these, these rants where he just sort of does his shtick for applause, and he oscillates back and forth. And I think the problem with that is that any time, anything that, uh, if you have a good showing and you stay on message and you kind of hit your marks and you say what your strategists want you to say, and then the next day you go out and you just sort of ad-lib and do your shtick, then it undermines everything you've been trying to do, and you don't have a coherent message. The most important thing is to remember is that speeches are tactics. And so what you should be doing is have a broad strategy of what is it you really want to do. Is, is, is passing health care reform, uh, is passing tax reform, is that your key goal? If so, all your speeches should sort of feed into that goal. I think here it's sort of ad hoc. How does Donald Trump wakes up? What's happening in the world today? Who's bothering him today? That he's responding, not being proactive. Let me, uh, 